Hello summoners and summonettes, it's Corden here, and today I'm bringing you a Nidalee ranked game jungle video on my main account here, and had to start that intro while we were in the loading screen because we gotta get right into the game here, buy our items, the talisman, the refillable potion, as well as the warding totem, so we can get hop, skip, and jump into our jungle and get some traps down. Alright. Eve is gonna be top a lot this game. Just gonna go ahead and let Riven know that pretty much Eve has free ganks top because they have a Renekton pretty easy to gank with that, so hopefully she can respect it. And come 2v2, we win pretty sure. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my traps down at the Gromp here. I will be top side after like 5 plus minutes. Alright, so, but like I said, we're up against an Evelyn jungle, so both pretty high pressure early game junglers can get a lot of ganks off, obviously Evelyn, just because she has that stealth to her name, and Nidalee, because she's just freaking Nidalee at the moment, there's no explanation for that. So I do a really weird jungle path, I clear half the camp, and then base, and then I uh, go back, and it's just like my other Nidalee videos. Then we go ahead and do the other side and get deep vision in afterwards, so. Hopefully it doesn't get punished too hard. This ribbon's pretty tilty already just from champ select, was just, you know, she didn't get a roll. She didn't like that Soraka wasn't banned. She was just flaming already, so. I'm praying that she does not die. I'm telling her right now, Evelyn is going to be top because it makes sense for her to be top. And I'm just praying to base Jeebus that she listens to me. Because I used to be an Evelyn main. I mean, I played her for... Ooh, that was bad. Cancel a lot of attack there. But you know, I played her for seasons on end there. So, got that. We'll go ahead and move straight to the blue buff. Luckily, it doesn't really matter what your HP is as Nidalee, because since we're doing this half clear baloney, we don't really have to care <coughs> Excuse me, about our health, because we base anyways, eventually. So, As long as you don't get invaded, you are A-OK -okay to do this. And we have to wait for the uh, Scuttle Cup to spawn anyways. Oh, this is so weird. I cleared that so fast. Normally I don't clear that fast. Can I actually come top her right now? Actually, I might be able to level 2 gank top. He's gonna flash her and kill her. Oh, that's kind of unlucky. She should have known that was happening though. Yeah, she said she saw it coming, but you didn't react to it, so. Kind of unlucky. She's gonna teleport back though and not miss any of the XP, but. That is a snowball that did not need to happen. Luckily, mid brought one back, so that's good for us. Alright, so go ahead and immediately smite the wolf here so you can clear it just a little bit faster with your Q damage. Hit level 3, do a swipe, get out of here, heal yourself before you base so you'll uh, heal up faster in the fountain. And then we go back and pick up the machete as well as a pink ward. And then we will go ahead and clear the other side of the jungle and go immediately into Evelyn's jungle, get those deep wards down that are much needed. And uh, hopefully we can have some impact on the map that way. So Renekton no flash, I will be able to gank him eventually, but it's not going to be for about another two minutes or so. So hopefully Riven can just survive because I'm going to go ahead and do this deep vision, which will help our, our team. Evelyn was right there. We did just barely see her. So, we do know if she's nearby. I wonder if she's still nearby. Okay, she's not. I'm just making sure she's not chilling there still. We'll go ahead and do our red. And hopefully she's not here. She could be here. So I'm actually going to pull us into the bush. Because I don't feel like giving her a random freebie. I'm actually going to smite it just to uh, secure it there. I just don't... Oh, she went bot lane. Uh, that's kind of unlucky. I mean, we did see her. So... A shame. Yeah, that's definitely what it they know. I wanna get this deep pink word down in their jungle. Ah I'm getting collapsed on. Okay, we're fine though. I really wanna get this ward down. Where'd you go? Oh, I missed. I'm gonna face check. Alright. Got the deep ward down, we're good. Actually you know what? I'm gonna just walk up to an auto here. Boom! Chunked you kid! Alright, uh, they're gonna know where I'm at, but I need to get Topside to help out this Riven, who's uh, probably already dead. She had to flash out of that one. I'm coming, dear. 
I just called her deer. This early game has been quite the opposite of what I normally do. I don't normally take this route, but the uh, initial jungle was just so awkward that I had to. <clears throat> All right, he clearly knew I was there. Did he just take third aggro? They could both die here. All right, they both died. That was a botched turret dive there. I don't know why the Evelyn took turret aggro and then flashed out too late and then that forced the Renekton. Okay, this game should be over. I can snowball so hard off of that. All right, how much gold? I don't think it's like 1500 or so. Yeah, I'm way off. I don't know why it's at 1500. Normally I have this, then it's almost 1500. But we're back into it. Oh man, that was that was really big. That was really big. All right, Spotlight bringing it to them as well. Coming back after losing a uh, kill to the earlier gank. Mmm, that's that's what we needed, man. We're feeling good right now. That was two free donation kills there. I think I I didn't see my spear. I know Renekton juked it, but I think I actually hit Evelyn by accident there. And then she took third aggro and just kind of flopped, so that was really, really big. I'm surprised that botched dive happened in this elo. I, I OP.GG'd myself, and I'm 1-0 and in my Diamond 2 series, and every single member on the enemy team is Diamond 1 right now. So I don't know how the hell that happened, but did not expect to see that fail of a uh, turret dive at this elo. Then again, it is Clown Fiesta and a Solar Peel. Alright, he's super aggressive. I'm down to come back again. I'm down. So, sorry bot lane, you're not really feeling the love of me. I have literally not even looked down there, except when you were dead. Okay, we do see Evelyn. That pink ward coming in big. That's what you have to do against Evelyn. You need deep wards. You gotta ward her camps, and you gotta get a deep pink ward to try and see her. But I think she actually caught on to... Nope, she didn't see it. So that pink ward is living, baby. And so are our teammates in turn because they absolutely know where she is. She's bottom side doing blue buff. Oh, uh, this guy's gonna go for it? Is he gonna pay for his life? Is he gonna flash for it? He has dash, so I'm gonna try and just walk up to him and smite him and slow him down that way and then he should die. Nope, he actually dashed out. Uh, maybe I could have gone for the spear. I don't know, I felt like it would have been pretty greedy. If I missed it, he would have just ended up uh, walking away without taking any of the damage up front from me walking up and smiting him so that was kind of the safer way to get the kill but he ended up living maybe if I took the riskier way we might have picked up the actual kill there wow that spear was bad oh well. uh blue buff if mid laner wants it she can have it I really prefer to not give it to her and she didn't even look at it so I'm gonna just take it uh ribbon got stopped I think she should be fine though yeah, she is in or she is indeed. Maybe she's baiting? No, she's actually gonna get up. I can hold so she can save her teleport. Oh, she's actually just straight up. Wow, that is great. Oh wow, I hit that spear. That was so amazing by both parties there. Can I hit another spear? No. Damn, that chunked him really, really hard though, right after he got back to lane. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw her heal and leave. Come on, girl, chill, I'm just healing. I'll give her command to do whatever she wants with the wave. Hopefully Evelyn doesn't... I'd go kill her right now if I was Evelyn, to be honest. But, uh, maybe not. I need a base, though. I need to pick up my runic echoes really bad. That'll just make my clear just insane. So, once you get this item, you just bust. You can do anything you want. Evelyn shows bottom, gets a kill. Kind of unlucky. Kind of camping them. But, uh, what can you do? Mid lane is so far ahead as well, that's really good. We already have a level advantage on Evelyn. I doubt she has enough money for her runic echoes, so the next couple of minutes or so is where we just spike as far as uh, gold over the Evelyn here because we have insane clear speed. We got blue and runic echoes, so you can kiss every camp of goodbye. Alright, die please. Let's see if we can help out the bot lane a little bit. We'll go ahead and smite this just because we'll have two smites. One is available again. Uh, that was bad of me, but whatever. That'll die to red, okay. Let's go ahead and hop this wall. It is pink, so we'll see if there's a ward in here. There's no wards, but I'm pretty damn sure they're gonna base. I was really thinking about hopping that wall, but okay, you didn't see anything. Nobody saw anything. But if everyone was at that wall right when I hopped over it, we would've just instantly died, so. Glad I showed a little bit of reserve, but now we're gonna hop over it because we have the wave pushed here. And there's no ward, and I know there's no ward because I swept it, so we can actually 
very easily turret out of this jinx here. Just have to make sure we hit the spear. And we miss. What the fuck is wrong? Okay, I got our flash at least. <laughs> that was so bad. Holy shit. I don't know. I want to say something like her pathing was really weird, but uh, that was just bad. There's no excuse for that. But it uh, looks like we're going to straight up be able to take the whole turret here, so that's pretty damn good. I'm not going to tax the farm. No man, like, I'm the biggest asshole when I play Nidalee. I just tax every single thing. Oh, she finally saw us, man. But uh, I won't tax that. I don't feel that mean today. Let's see if Evelyn will actually walk down here into the spear. Nope, she walked up. Okay. So we actually reveal ourselves by throwing that spear, but had she just randomly walked into that spear, she would have died instantly. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. With the kill top, and I believe Renekton doesn't have teleport, we should be able to get this really easily, so... Good job giving us that pressure there. Rocket actually throws mid lane. Oh my god, the SMD rocket. Sniper. Damn. OP, OP. Alright, I think we're able to get this fine, so that'll be good. Just the first free dragon. Nidalee excels at taking dragons early on, because she has so much sustain and, you know, can spam all of her spells. This guy's making me sad by uh, taking my camp. No, don't take that shit from me. Okay, he took that shit from me. Now, let's see if there's a ward in here. There is indeed a ward. I accidentally canceled the auto attack to quick, quick clear that. Again, I can never talk. Okay, I'll come top again. Okay. Yeah, I guess he is kind of built. What do they have? 3 1 Jinx? Oh, that is kind of scary. Lucian's looking good, though. He's 1 0 with, you know. Without Eden Farm. So, definitely not out. This, this woman, this Soraka, is just sitting bot lead. Or mid, sorry. That's annoying for the Cassiopeia. Alright, let's see if we can really tilt this guy and just show up again. I think it's pretty damn obvious that I'm here, but whatever. We'll see. We'll see if he goes on it. I think we win the 2v2 if Evelyn shows up. If I hit a spear from the bush with surprise attacker, we should be able to win. Okay, this guy might die. He has no dash now, so he should just die. I'll tank for a little bit, and then we'll flash out last second. Okay. Oh, she's dead. Kinda sloppy, kinda sloppy. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm just gonna ignore the top for now. So we got the kill, but... Uh, I feel like they're gonna focus top lane a lot. Shrock is just roaming. Hopefully we can pressure something off this. It looks like we'll get mid turret, which is pretty good. But I think I just have to kind of ignore top lane. Like, he wants help. I'm sure we can help him out. But uh, I think the enemy team's thinking the same thing. You know, we gotta help out our Renekton who's kind of tilting off the face of the planet. Luckily, we, we do scale pretty well. I mean, we have Cassiopeia getting on the scaling, so that'll be pretty good for us. Oh, they placed another pink word there, that's mean. Have all the eyes on Evelyn. But uh, I think I need to make sure Jinx doesn't get out of hand here, or help out the cast snowball even harder, so... I think we're gonna change it up and not go for top lane the rest of the game. I'm gonna cover top though right now, because Riven is going bottom slash mid, so I need to make sure we don't give up a freebie turret. So we'll go ahead and just clear our jungle and then head top to finish off the camps. Hey, you should be good here. No, she flashed. She feels bad. Alright, let's just go ahead and make sure we don't get dove by this guy. So we won't put ourselves in a vulnerable position. He has no minions, so he can't dive us. And we're just keeping him up here, so... The rest of the team's winning, which is really good. So we can just uh, make sure he doesn't get this turret. Make sure he doesn't turret dive us. Because we have hella wave play. We got the runic echoes. Everything's easy. Good stuff, team. Got the kills, and I got to save the turret. So, sometimes you just have to kind of realize, as the jungler, you gotta cover lanes sometimes. Because Ribbon roamed, which, you know, it was good. Ended up getting two kills. But you just have to make sure you're not giving up anything for free. Which, in case... Or in this case, we didn't. And it's gonna try and push top again. I'm just gonna kill a skull crab, and then we'll run straight back top. And I'm gonna miss that minion. Yeah, oh well. No big deal. And then we'll just gather the rest with our AoE. Oops, missed that one, but no big deal. Almost out of our Rod of Ages, so that'll be awesome to pick that up. And get that scaling on us as well, just another scaling item. So, so well with uh, your Strength of Ages that we bring on Italy as well. Yeah, I'll get this through. I don't care. 
I, uh, I hardly ever take this as the jungler. I almost always give it to the top lane. Or, you know, whoever's utilizing it at the time. Uh, yeah, I agree. We can easily all just rotate top and take this. There's no way that Renekton can defend it. And he shouldn't even try because, yeah, he's teleporting bottom. He knows that is Dunzo. Shit. We could have killed him. Ah, uh, I could have killed that. What is wrong with me? I just accidentally swapped into the cougar form, so I didn't have the swap available for me, but I still could have killed it, I believe, without a quick swapping. Because you can auto attack cancel by swapping to cougar form and vice versa. Swapping from. We're just straight up diving here. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with this, but uh, end up getting some decent turret damage off. Kale's trying to flank us at the moment, but we do have a very nice side ward, and that trap was beautiful. Just randomly saw the Evelyn there. Alright, so we do have, we have the squad here. This Kale's putting down a beating on our bubbles at the moment, though. And we have to respect Evelyn. The Eve can definitely pop off and just take us out, which she's going to right now. Yeah, we should have seen that coming. Oh, that's a big ult, though, by the Cassiopeia, pulling multiple members into a stone form. And let's go ahead and continue the chase here. Kale still has ult, though, so we gotta respect that. That was so close to being so bad, but that Cassiopeia absolutely carried that fight. What a wonderful ult right there. And I was able to, I know I was able to jump in quick enough before the Kale got unstunned, or I don't know what the word is, de-stunned, and uh, burst that Evelyn before she could actually alter, so that was a money ult by Cassiopeia there. Absolutely allowed us to come back that fight. Good stuff. Oh man, I didn't realize how far behind this Riven actually is, in hindsight. They have kind of the same score, but that Riven is pretty far behind still. But uh, luckily Renekton's not too ahead, didn't snowball, so he's not like the scariest champion in the game at the moment. Second Drake is up and available, definitely think we should go for that. Let's go ahead and uh, smite these chickens. Easy, I mean look at the clear, even without the smite. Wait, why'd you just die? Why'd you just die on it? Oh, that spear though, oh, that is a... Uh, that is a rock of flocka though. Damn. I think this Riven needs to just kind of accept the fact that she can get carried this game and stop trying to make all the plays because she doesn't need to make all the plays. Uh, they're probably on. Wow, they're not on this right now. They definitely should have gone for this, which is kind of weird. Alright, let's see if we can snipe the Scuttle Crab. Wow. It trolled us and moved. <laughs> I thought I was just gonna chill there. Alright, another ward going down. Luckily, they didn't force the Drake here, which they very easily could have. Now they are trying to force it, but it might be a little too late. And we might be able to actually swoop in here and steal it. Uh, I doubt we should... We shouldn't do this, but we're gonna do it anyways. I lied, we can do this. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and execute it with my Q and Smite at the same time. Wow, they just gave us a free Drake. That's pretty awesome. So, obviously it takes away from their first one and gives us a second one. Lucian just got assassinated, I think, from Evelyn. No, he lived. Very nice, very nice. We should be able to just pressure mid right now, because pretty much all of them are out of position. Oh, good cover by Renekton, okay. So that is not gonna happen. Let's go ahead and just hop this wall here, see if we can take their race real quick. Not up, not gonna happen. All right, blue buff is up. I'd like to give it to Cassiopeia if she wants it. She's playing very, very well. If she does want it, you can very well come and get it. Alright, let's give this to her. I don't know, I feel kind of weird this game. Like, this game feels interesting. I don't, I don't know the feeling, but I feel like I don't have as big of a control as this game. Maybe just because I can't physically see Evelyn the entire time to see the lead that I have on her. I mean, we do have a huge lead on her just because that's the nature of the matchup. If she doesn't snowball off a lot of kills early, we just power farm our way into an advantage, which we have that two-level advantage right now. But I, I don't know, it just feels weird because I can't physically see the progress of what we're doing here. I'm going to YOLO jump this. Okay. So there is a ward in here. We'll just go ahead and get rid of it. I'm going to smite this. I don't really know where Evelyn is. I know she was nearby, but... Taking a blue away from them, huge play. A lot of them could utilize it pretty well. Kale as well as Evelyn. They don't have anything warded. We don't have any vision topside though. And I'm really terrified for the uh, Riven because of that. So hopefully she doesn't get gangbanged. 
Oh, there's a ward right here that I need to clear. Uh, you know, I'm actually down to do a 20 minute Baron if we have good vision control. Because this uh, Cassiopeia could legitimately melt it. Us three bots stay mid. If Cass comes, we could do this very easily. They're red to spawn. Uh, if Cass comes. Okay, I guess we're gonna force onto this. I think we could do this, but uh, never mind, they warded it, so. Gonna have to back off immediately. You know, good good attempt in hindsight, but uh, good ward coverage by the enemy team. Mmm, this is such a weird game. Like, we're so far ahead, I feel like, but at the same time, we just can't pressure anything. I don't know, very interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, cougar form, cancel that auto attack, make sure we just clear the wards efficiently. Uh, I'd like to take those, but they accidentally reset on us. Alright, let's go ahead and smite these, just to make sure we can maintain that vision control with the oracles. What's going on in this game? I don't know, I guess I'm just going to keep farming. We, we can slowly bleed them out here by taking all their jungle camps, so... Evelyn... Oh my god, that jump. Accidentally hover... Didn't hover over. But yeah, we can just slowly bleed them out here if they want to play it like that. Because there hasn't been a fight in like... I don't know what... 10 or so minutes? That's weird. Weird, weird game. They outscale us? I don't believe so at all. I think Cassiopeia is strong as hell late. Okay, there's a... Wow, it just spawned. Tilted! Alright, give me this ground. But uh, I don't think they have scales too much. Obviously they have a hyper carry, 80 carry, but if we one shot her, it's not gonna matter, really. Kale trying to... Trying to make the spook attack happen. Not gonna find success with that. Gotta make sure we don't get flanked by Evelyn, though. We do not have Cassiopeia with us, so... Gotta respect it. Oh, randomly found the Evelyn. That's not gonna hit her. That was such a late spear. Where are we getting pressure on the map? We have, like, no turrets we can physically pressure. It's such an awkward game at the moment. Uh, bot lane fight? Oh my god, did I really face plant? <laughs> that was not a good jump. Red buff is up, so Lucian will take that eventually. I mean, what is going on? Can we pressure mid, I guess? Get a few hits on this? Actually, yeah, we can. Jinx took a very, very bad path, so it leaves only Evelyn to clear here, and we just take... A whole bunch of turrets, or turret hits, hit the turret a bunch of times. We didn't take turret hits, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm losing it! Alright, that's a free chunk, and now Riven's just chunking top lane turret as well, so I I guess we're just going to split the map and pressure them, but uh, crazy stuff, crazy stuff. I don't know how we're able to do this. Oh man, oh man. Forces his flash and heal, which is really, really unfortunate. I kind of had a gut feeling she was nearby, and I I should have just told him. I kind of knew it was a thing, but uh, gonna be able to secure this turret here. Oh, he's dead. He got flashed on. We actually don't win this fight anymore. That's pretty unlucky. We do have Cast coming in hot, though. Could make a big play, but it gets turned around. Quite literally, uh, turned around. So, no stun. Lucian going down. That is Renekton Flash for that play, but still. No, 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 no. We have no castle and no way to here. There's no way we win that fight now. So we just have to kind of respect it. And uh, we did get a turret actually from the minion, so that's kind of hilarious. I'm just going to take this red because it's been up for the longest time. And he never took it. Oh, he wants it now, so I guess I'll give it to him. Awkward. <laughs> yeah, I think we can group now. Cassiopeia probably just went back and got it. Yeah, she completed her Arata or er, Crystal Scepter, so... She's got Haley's Liz. I'm just going to collect bot lane because it is a huge wave that I don't want to crash into our turret. Actually, this is really greedy of me. They could be on Baron right now. But they're not, luckily. I could have got punished so incredibly hard for that play. Alright, cleared bottom. Dragon's actually up, but I have so much gold. I really want to go back and spend. So we're going to try and do so. Going to pick up components of the Zonias here and we'll snag the Ionian boots as well. Uh, I think we just gotta give dragon unless they're not doing it. Wow, why are they not doing dragon again? Blows my mind. They could have taken dragon twice for free, and now I have a chance to steal us. I don't know if I'm gonna go for the steal, but they're giving us options here, and wow, they backed off of it again. That is incredible. We actually only had two people there realistically to take that, and I guess we're just gonna start up the Drake here. 
I actually used my execute right there, so it's kind of a misuse by me. But we get the third dragon and we get out. What is going on in this game? Two dragons that really should have just been theirs and they just forfeited over to us, so I'm not gonna complain. But hot damn. Uh not sure if we need to force this, we could, but I think we should just bait it. Oh man, we could actually get it. Oh man, we destroy this thing. Alright, what's our smite 800? So let's go ahead and snag. What? Did they just like AFK? How did we take these so freely? I'm legit flabbergasted. And yes, that was like one of the fastest burns I think I've ever taken in my life. That was pretty legit. But, uh, easy way to secure that there is just go for the Nidalee Cougar form pounce into smite at the same time. It does. At this damage, it'll do about 1300 to combo them properly, so... Ooh, that's a big spear. Jinx already chunked. And we're just doing a 4-1-0 push now, and with Baron it should be very, very free to take. And we just gotta make sure we don't get all in, keep our people up, get the poke off as well. So we're in a very strong spot. Try and hit another spear. Oh my god, she would've died. 100% would've died. Had that connected. But uh, Renekton just sitting bot lane, split pushing forever. We take the inhib and we can actually rotate top and take top as well. Why aren't we just going top? Top is free. Alright, so Renekton's getting bot lane. Woo! We got bot lane T2 and we got two inhibs for it, so definitely a work for us here. I think Renekton's kind of trolling. Yeah, they're saying we're for him. But uh, we're just topping everybody off and staying healthy here while sieging. And there goes two in the hips. We'll go ahead and base now to try and help out the Rival Flavin in her efforts against the. Oh, she soloed him. Well then. Well, this should be game. Oh, that spear. Almost hitting. But that could be a dead Soraka. Nope, not gonna happen. The spear! Man, they flashed. Alright, that's game though. That was. What? It just like randomly burst into an ending. We didn't have a fight for like 12 minutes and then boom, game's over. Just like that. I don't understand, but I'm really not going to complain because I just got promoted. Oh baby, give me that kill. Easy snipe. Alright, let's go and take a look at the, the damage, I guess. I mean, I'm not expecting to do a lot of damage. I kind of just power farmed for half the game, but what a we I don't think I've ever had a solo queue game this season that was as weird as that game. I'm just gonna say weird. Only 12 kills. Like, that was such a quiet game. It was ri like, it was explosive the first 10 minutes and then 10 minutes of nothing and then the game just ended. I don't know, man. That was crazy. Alright, let's take a look at the damage. Yeah, I, ex I expected it to look something like that, so. Uh, let me know if you guys have ever seen a game like that. That was very interesting to me. I'm like, confused actually but if you like the video go ahead and like i'll have all my other social media such as twitch twitter and facebook as well as Rune Masteries in the info box below and as always guys i will see you all next time